they're not too bad. They're big giant ants, right? But they, they move really slow. Yeah. So why why is the devil after you? Why are you battling the devil? I'm a Christian. I'm I'm, I'm walking like Christ. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to. Well, I like to get, and most of the, most of the, what I'm getting is takers. So takers take me. And then if there's like criminals, and I'm gullible, you know. If I know, if I'm talking to somebody, he says something, and you know he's good at his craft, I believe him. I'm thinking it's cool, you know, and it's a setup, you know. So I want to help. I want to help you out, you know. If I have it, you know, you can have it, you know. I, feel I don't it. smoke weed, and you know, a lot of times I get weed and I just carry it around, you know, because um, I'm retired of jobs, you know, Burger King and all that, you know. I'm ready for, I'm ready for entertainment. I've got over four, five hundred. I got over three hundred monologues in this area. Oh, so, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, give, so, me, give, give what, me one person. What do you recommend to battle the devil? Huh? What do you recommend to combat the devil? Well, see, the the book, the book, the Bible, right? Now the problem is that churches, when you go to a church, depending on what kind of church it is. They're, ba they're basically preaching and saying what they're saying. They got the microphones, they got the vocals, there's people, they got singing. They can t turn and twist. You know, and some of these reverends, and most people wearing suits, they got money, they got jobs. But, you know, when somebody comes up to them that doesn't have any money, looking like this, you know, there's a lot of good people get handed out, but, you know, these, these churches are basically, they're like Spanish churches, Catholic. They're twisting and turning, and they're having a good time when they go to church. You know, they have Bible studies and all that. You know, the wife's got money. The Mexicans are construction. It's So one thing is, in those walls, they can basically preach and say what they want. And even if they say the Bible right, they're still not giving or helping out somebody like me. But I'm not, I'm not a bum, you know. I just don't have the money, and my grandparents, uh, yeah, so basically, you just need a Bible. You don't have to go to church. A church means made up of people. Right. You don't need people to believe in Christ and God. Christ is on your side. The God God is on your side, you know. Um, Adam and Eve, Genesis, the rib bone, a woman comes from a rib bone. So basically what that means is she's automatically... You know, if she's going to be on her, on her own and she's going to go after what she wants to get, or if she's going to love and care about you, check you. So you got to you got to read that verse because that you know most of, a lot of women are conceited and they, they want to take you and they and they want to mooch, you know. And then you you got to control your sex drive. If you're a hot dog and you're horny, and you know you're doing Yale or you're doing some kind of drugs, you don't want to do any drugs. I mean, if you want to drink, you know, go ahead and drink sociable. Drink your weights, drink your height, and, you know, make a beer last about an hour, an hour and a half. You know, do four or six pack, and let, you know, even it out for like eight, nine hours. Because yeah. it, it won't get you drunk, it'll get you smooth. You know, like a volume, like an Adamant. You know, you don't want to overtake your, your drinking. And, you know, cigarettes, I mean, I could quit any time. You know, so... You don't want to overindulge in whatever you do. Right. And you know, everything's, everything.